Hey guys, Mortimer here, and as the title says, I played Black Ops 4 Alcatraz for an hour and I'm conflicted. Let's get right into it. Close quarters battle royale. In my opinion, if you don't have a teammate landing with you or a teammate holding a place down for you to respawn at, then it feels too close. In the game, it felt like if you died or respond middle to late game, it was basically over. You had little to no chance of winning, considering how small the circle is at that point, where you would land is super limited, it usually ends in you getting killed 20 seconds later. But I do like the idea of fast paced close quarters, multiple third partying, and heptic fights. Do you guys remember at the end of the trailer, where that guy is spinning that hammer around? Yeah, that hammer. I don't know if it was in a patch notes, but every squad I joined had the same coolest reaction when getting one hit by the hammer. People are like ready to see this movie. They're buying the tickets. It's nuts. I mean, how does that feel to know that they, they love this film so much? It's great, but I'm dead. So I don't. Have, I can't answer any questions about that. Oh, okay. So you don't want to give us a spoiler or anything like that? I'm dead. <laughs> what about Black Panther 2? Anything? I'm dead. <laughs> Ready for you to be dead, Chadwick. But I am. I'm dead. <laughs> There's no confliction on that topic. I hate it. <laughs> the map itself, I think, is extremely well made. My favorite part of the map is definitely the main gel. It's so epic fighting in the tightest spaces possible while being chased by zombies. It's obviously the Tilted Towers and the Skull Town of the map. In my opinion, I think the way to get in is a little limiting. You gotta land on top of the building and go through a skylight, or land on the side of the building and jump through a hole or window. Unless the map was designed to be hard to get in, hard to get out, there should be an easier way to access without a team easily able to hold it down. <laughs> Lastly, the respawn. I love the idea of respawn. I just hate that you can cover the entire map with your respawn. So if none of your teammates are communicating, 9 out of 10 times, you guys will land far from each other because of how little time you have in the air. But I only played an hour, so hopefully that was enough of what I think of the map to help you guys out. During my games, I would ask random people how they feel about the map, and the feedback was 50-50. They either hate it or loved it. So if I was to give this map a rating out of 10, I would give it a 6 out of 10. There's a lot of cool ideas to the game mode, but I didn't feel like they were executed well. And like usual games, if there's no communication, it sucks, but on this map, it's even harder. Yes. 